We wanted to conduct an experiment here in studio, seeing if our doffing procedure of our PPE is done correctly. So what we've done is we've aerosolized a fluorescent material onto my PPE as if it was someone coughing or you're in the room with a patient where you may have had aerosolized particles and virus. So what we're gonna do next is we're gonna turn on our black light and then look to see where the contamination is. We'll go back to the studio, regular lights, I'll remove or doff my PPE and we'll see if there are any areas of concern where there may have been some cross contamination because I didn't doff correctly. The one caveat to this is I clearly can't wash my hands with each of the doffing procedures as I would for the virus because, well, washing your hands just does not kill the fluorescent material as it would the virus. So I've gloved over for each hand washing and I'll show you how that works. Okay, now that we have the studio lights down and we have our black light, you can see the luminescent material, the contamination on my PPE, mostly focusing on my hands, my face mask and my torso, because that's really the part of your body that is most exposed, especially the hands when you're in with a patient. Okay, so clearly you can see I'm contaminated, mostly at the hands, again, the chest. Let's now doff this PPE and hopefully I was successful. So remember, we're gonna start off with our hand hygiene. That's the first step. So I'm gonna remove my first set of gloves as my hand hygiene. Throw those in the trash. The next step is removing the gown, right? So I'm gonna be pulling my gown off at the shoulder and at the waist and rolling those sleeves downward into a ball away from my body. I'll be taking a set of gloves with that, rolling it into a ball and throwing that into the trash. So the next step is, again, hand hygiene. You can see how hand hygiene between each step is really important because every time you move or remove something, you're at risk of contaminating your hands. They're the tools we use to remove all this stuff, so they're at high risk. So, hand hygiene completed. Now we're going to do the removal of my face shield. I'm gonna grab it from the side, pull over, throw it in the trash. Next step, hand hygiene. And then if you recall, this is the step that you can now leave the area of aerosolized material, right? You wanna keep your mask on until you're in a safe area where you're not gonna have aerosolized particles. And the next step really again is gonna be removing the face mask. So you're going to repeat that hand hygiene after you've left that room because you may have touched the doorknob or whatever when you're exiting it. And you're ready now to remove the mask. So going here, grabbing the lower strap, pulling the lower strap first, then grabbing the upper strap, Pulling that off, throwing away your mask, removing your hair bonnet if you're wearing one, and then the final hand hygiene step. And when you're doing the hand hygiene or removing gloves, a great way to do this is to grab here at the collar, flip your finger in like you would do for surgical or oral gloves, pull that off, hold it, and do the exact same thing here, right? inside at the wrist, pull it out. That way your hands really aren't touching anything. And remember the final step obviously of everything would be hand hygiene, but let's take a look at the black light and see if I was successful. Okay, so now with the studio lights down and our Dancio black light on, we're gonna be looking for contamination. And I am hoping not to have any on my hands. I don't see anything, no droplets on my neck, ears, Places where I've really manipulated removing straps on my gowns, on my arms. So doffing can work, can help protect you from those aerosolized droplets as long as you do it correctly. And remember, frequent hand hygiene in between every step. Mm -hmm.